Hey, if you're looking to start your own at home freight dispatch business where you can work from anywhere in the world, you only need a computer or a laptop, you have the ability to scale, and you have the ability to turn it into a passive income business, freight dispatching may be the number one idea that you want to execute on right now. And if you're having any trouble with finding a good quality freight dispatch training, what I want you to do is click that link below where I'll have recorded and live monthly Zoom webinars. In those webinars, I'll be teaching you everything about freight dispatching live so you get a good understanding of this business before you enter the market. But in today's video, I want to talk about five common problems faced by freight dispatchers and how to avoid them. So what I've been realizing from my own experience of starting these businesses, and I'm a person that got my business up to $20,000 per month during my second month of business. So from that experience and from helping and mentoring people start and scale their own freight dispatching business over the years, what I realized is that freight dispatchers have multiple different aspects of the business that they have to show attention to such as general freight dispatching, customer service, operations, marketing, sales, and more, right? So sometimes that splits our attention so much between every aspect of the business. And then sometimes we're left wondering, what should I be working on right now? What should I do? What is the next step? So I want to show you guys a proven system that you can just follow step by step so you don't have to you know, guess or go around searching for answers because that's what makes a lot of people fail in the beginning when you have to go around searching for answers and you don't spend enough time actually building a business. So if you guys want to be a part of those live and recorded monthly Zoom webinars, just click that link below to sign up today. So we're gonna get right into the topic of this video because I wanna tell you guys the five biggest problems faced by most freight dispatchers and how to avoid them because they're faced by most freight dispatchers and I, I faced them and I've seen so many of my students face them. So if I tell you these problems up front and then you already know the solutions, once you come to these problems, you can immediately start implementing the solutions. So that's the best way to train people. That's the best way to mentor people is to tell them what may happen before it happens and then to give them the solution. So that's what I want to do. So. Problem number one is attracting owner operators. Attracting reliable owner operators is a, is a common challenge for freight dispatchers. Owner operators are independent contractors who own and operate their own trucks. They are a central part of the freight industry, but finding and retaining them can be difficult, right? So that's the number one problem most freight dispatchers have is finding clients, finding drivers in the first place, right? So it can be very difficult, especially if you have never owned a business before. That was my problem, many of my students' problems. Basically the same problems that you will have are the same problems that I've already had, right? So the thing is there are plenty of owner operators out there. There's thousands and thousands of owner operators in the trucking industry, right? But the thing is that most of the time you don't have enough reach or brand awareness. You, you don't get in front of the faces, enough faces of owner operators. It's a numbers game, right? So you want to get in front of more owner operators faces. They don't know, necessarily know about you, especially you have a brand new business. Your brand isn't known, known about. So the solution that I have is to create a UVP, a unique value proposition. Building a strong brand with a clear brand message and image that resonates with owner operators can help differentiate you from the rest of the market. That's what the, the main objective is. You want to have higher value than the rest of the market. Most of the time, or all of the time, freight dispatchers don't have any drivers or they're failing to attract an increasing amount every month. It's because they don't have something unique about their business that stands out from the rest of the market. So when I first started, I had the exact same problem. And what I'd done was I realized at the time all freight dispatchers were just offering dispatching services. So I figured if I'm working from home and the driver's on the road driving a semi truck that I can do a lot of that other administrative work that they were still trying to handle after they um, dropped off the load, after they were off duty for the night, you know, still working. That's what, that's what I realized is going on with a lot of owner operators. They're driving the truck all day, 
or all night and then they're still working on their off duty times handling the uh, the owner part you know owner operator so they're owner operator so they have to operate the truck and then still handle that operator part that um owner part excuse me so what i would recommend doing is including in your uvp um, some of those owner owner duties some of those owner tasks that you can take off the plate of your owner operators right so that's that's a uvp and then i would include all that in my offer if you realize most freight dispatching companies are only offering eight percent uh, to dispatch people for eight percent or for five five percent but no one's having a uvp of taking care of certain owner tasks and that's how i would put it out there in my marketing that i handle these certain owner tasks so you can concentrate more on being an oper operator right that's that's what demands your attention your attention and even the safety of your business is that operator part but since i'm at home i want to take care of a lot of those owner owner duties and i believe that's a good uvp and it'll allow more people to attract owner operators or attract drivers to their business and i always use the term attract because it's not finding drivers you can go out and find a driver anywhere but you want to attract your customer they don't become your customer and they don't pay you money until you attract them do you have until you have something of value that attracts them just offering to dispatch their loads for eight percent or five percent that or a uh, week free of freight dispatching that's not going to attract them so you have to find out something that's valuable to the owner operator that the rest of the market isn't offering and then you'll start attracting your perfect clients number two no social media presence this fits in with number one Many freight dispatchers do not have a social media presence, which can make it difficult to reach potential customers and promote their service effectively, right? So just having a UVP isn't everything. Just having that unique value proposition isn't everything because you need to have a presence. That's what's going to build your brand brand, brand awareness, going to build your brand. I can sit here all day in my office and think of plenty UVPs and write those UVPs down, but unless I have presence and brand awareness and i'm talking about my uvp that uh, is not is not going to do me any good right because i have to think of that uvp or think of that value then i have to put it out there into the marketplace same with you same with any business so the solution would be to establish a strong social media presence establishing a strong social media presence can help freight dispatchers reach a wider audience and promote their service effectively this includes creating profiles on social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and regularly posting engaging content, right? So what I just said is also gonna help attract those owner operators to you by having that strong social media presence and talking about your UVP. And then when you speak, you, people will be surprised. You may, for the people out there that don't have any drivers yet, you'll be surprised if you come up with a strong UVP and then increase your social media presence you'll be a surprise how many drivers were wanting that same uvp so many drivers have tasks within their business that they hate doing that if you as a freight dispatcher offer to do that task they're, they're going to say that's exactly what i was thinking so that's how you're going to attract your perfect customer right you have to attract them because you guys are basically already thinking the same thing so once you start growing that social media presence you see you just attract like-minded people that you both um at equal exchange of value equal exchange of value that's what you're looking for so having a strong social media presence helps to do that so number three no knowledge of marketing a online business right so you have to have market of on, marketing a online business so many freight dispatchers lack, lack knowledge of how to market a business online they may not understand seo or search engine optimization pay-per-click advertising and other online marketing strategies so the solution on that is just the same as I did. Something I realized when I started my freight dispatch training after I had learned the general freight dispatching uh, terms and knowledge because I was like a lot of you guys, I was totally new to the industry. But after I learned that, it took me about a week of researching and taking in information. But what I 
quickly started to realize is that I'm going to have to work on my marketing and sales, right? So then I just shifted all my attention to learning marketing and sales, watching YouTube videos, Googling information, articles, blogs about marketing and sales, taking training. So my solution is to invest in online market marketing training and services can help freight dispatchers improve their knowledge and skills in this area. This includes attending online marketing workshops, working with online marketing consultants and using online marketing tools like Google AdWords and Facebook ads. So that's one big thing we you need to learn if you haven't learned yet. Facebook ads, you know, if you run ads, that's what basically helped make my company successful. I started to run ads and build a lookalike audience using Facebook. So basically Facebook is going to take the analytics. It's going to take in everything it knows about your viewers on your video and what you can do is make a lookalike audience that has similar characteristics and Facebook would do that for you. you make a lookalike audience and run your ads run your videos to that lookalike audience that has the similar characteristics as your current audience so what that's going to that's going to increase your revenue because now you got more owner operators you're getting in front of the face you got your unique value proposition you're growing your social media uh, presence so um, and learning how to market on social media, that's going to build your brand awareness. It's going to get your unique value proposition out to more potential owner operators. And that is that's how you can have an increasing amount of owner operators signing up for your business every month. Like I was just telling one of my students in my enhanced 2.0 mentorship program, you guys I can also check the link below to check out that program. But what I was explaining to that student is with my program, you're always going to continue to increase the amount of drivers coming into your company and to increase the amount of uh, revenue coming into your company because as you make so grow your social media presence as you make videos those videos are always online the videos you you would have made a year ago six months ago three months ago people are always coming and watching those videos so you're basically going to stack you're stacking value stacking value so that's what is, is going to make it easier and um, quicker your revenue is just going to increase by each video that you do over time because that's going to allow you to grow your social media presence basically growing the amount of owner operators coming into your business so I am wanting to teach you a way you guys can control your own revenue right you can increase your revenue anytime you want to so that was problem number three no knowledge of marketing a business online next up we have problem four self-doubt Many freight dispatchers struggle with self-doubt, which can impact their competence and ability to make decisions that are best or the best interest of the business. So you guys heard me say it time and time again. What I recommend is to begin with the end in mind, right? You got to have that picture of your business is finished with that great UVP that you have with 20 or 30 drivers in your dispatching company, right? Because you're trying, when you build a business, you're not just starting something like the rest of the market. You're actually thinking of a bigger, a larger idea with higher value, higher energy in that idea, and you're manifesting that idea into the marketplace. So you want to work yourself up to the idea that you have in mind. So if you constantly look at what is going on in the market or what um, other people are doing, you aren't going to manifest that idea that you have in mind. So to help that self-doubt, I recommend just having a very high idea in mind and always looking at that idea rather than the market so that way you're always manifesting your higher higher idea into the market so self-doubt can be crippling for freight dispatchers but beginning with the end in mind can help decrease it by envisioning themselves and their business at the end they can create a clear vision of what they want to achieve and work towards this vision can be used as a guiding force to help towards it this vision can be used as a guiding force to help overcome any doubts or obstacles they may face along the way. So basically, this is how the mind works. When you do have doubts and obstacles, if you keep that idea in it that you have in the end, if you keep that in mind, that's going to manifest the solution because you still are putting faith into that idea. So it's going to automatically manifest a solution into your business. So that's how you can attract the answers, the solutions that you need by always going to the end and putting faith there, not in a problem you see with your physical eyes. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Problem five. 
they lack lack of knowledge about the transportation industry. Many freight dispatchers can lack knowledge about the transportation industry. They may not understand regulations, safety requirements, or best practices for managing transportation businesses. So what I recommend to do, the solution for that is learn about the trucking industry. Take that time out. Learn every, everything you can because learning about the trucking industry can help freight dispatchers make informed decisions and improve their business operations. This includes understanding regulations from the FMCSA, that's the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA and other governing bodies. So there's plenty of information out there on the online. I will be talking about that information in my free live web webinars that you can access by clicking the link below. But it's plenty of articles out there that you guys can read, blog posts, and you can actually access the FMCSA website to know more about these regulations and to stay up to date, even for your owner operators. That's added value. As regulations change, things change within the trucking industry, I recommend to, you, you need to be the first source of information for your owner operators. Like I told you guys, Anything and everything you can do to add value to your owner operators, that's what you want to do to attract them into your business. But I hope you guys like this video. A lot of this is from my own experience. So if you guys have questions, comment down below. I can also answer these questions in my mentorship programs where we work one-on-one. -on -one. So as these things come up, I can give you the best solutions in today's current market to get over those problems. If you guys have anything, feel free to reach out to me. I thank you for watching this video.